Hey everyone, Etho here. This is uh, episode 4. And I just want to say thanks to all my subscribers and all of those who uh, leave comments and thumbs up and all that good stuff. Um, I do read the comments and I'm um, happy to see everything's been pretty positive so far. Uh, and also, uh, I noticed a few people have been telling me to harvest this clay over here from my spawn. So I figure that would be a good way to start off this episode. I'm finally going to harvest this clay. Alright, you ready? You ready? I'm going to harvest it now. Nah, I'm just messing with you. I'm not going to harvest this clay. I'm going to leave this clay here, and you're going to see it every episode, and it's going to torment you. And you're going to be like, Come on, Etho! Harvest the freaking clay already! What's the matter with you? And I'm just going to laugh, because I'm evil, and I have a sick sense of humor. And I think it's going to be funny. And just so you know how evil I am, just so you know, check this out. Oh yeah, there's more clay, and I'm not going to harvest this either. And it's just going to kill you guys. <laughs> okay. Alright, so here we are, back at the tree farm. Um, I was going to work on making it bigger. Right now it only holds 9 trees. I want to make it ha hold at least 16 trees. But I've realized I'm pretty much out of cobblestone. So, I think we're going to work on the road. But first, uh, we're going to cut down some trees for some wood. And to clear the area. Actually, I'll just meet you down at the road. Alright, so I didn't cut down too many trees. My axe broke. So, uh... Just getting our supper, and then we're gonna work on the road a little bit. As you can see, I don't really have a whole lot of stuff here. So I really need to gather some resources. Oh yeah, I needed the wood because we need some ladders. Because I think I'm going to start on the dispenser and show you guys how to do that. And that should be plenty. Okay. So like I said, this is a dispenser. This is a return system. Uh, all we really need to do is dig these two holes down as deep as we want. Um, I usually start with the return so that I can place ladders back up to get back out. And, oh man, I don't have any torches. Oh, this is brutal. Well, maybe I'll wait then because you guys probably can't see anything. Uh, okay, first I'm just gonna dig out here and I'll probably find some coal. I'll see you back in a sec. So I ended up clearing quite a ways, and I only found enough coal to make about 64 torches, which is not much at all. And I grazed the ocean a little bit and made a huge leak. I'm going to show you how to clog that up. It's very simple. Just like that.
I don't like digging under the ocean because then sand falls and then you always have this problem. And it takes a long time to dig then. It's a real pain. But I'll do that later. I did find some iron ore, which is awesome, because we need some buckets. And we, we made it about a third of the way to the island, which is pretty good. And I got lots of resources now, lots of cobblestone. So we can work on the dispenser again. I'll show you how much I got. Uh, about five stacks of cobblestone. And we're gonna smelt some iron. Okay, back to it. So... Yeah, so we dig down as deep as we want. Uh, the deeper you dig, the more boats your dispenser can hold. And since there's... Since I'm the only person playing on my server, I don't really need it too deep because I don't need many boats. That's probably plenty. And then dig down the other one. But for first you should connect it so you know how far to dig. Just like that. Can get out easy with the ladders. Hopefully I'll find some coal on the way down. Oh, iron, awesome. that back up. So this is a shaft that's going to have the water elevator in it. And this one's going to be dry. So the boat falls down here, then it flows here, and then it goes up the elevator and then that is held by a door at the top. So, what should we do next? Um, hmm, good question. Just gonna put down two half steps here. I'm not sure why. And we're going to make some buckets. I usually only carry two buckets with me at any time. Oops. And we'll get some water. I think it's probably daytime. Nope. Oh man, that's not good, that's not good. I can't see anything. I swear, if another creeper gets me, I am going to lose it. Oh, there's one right there. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, nuts. Much easier to do this stuff on Peaceful. Uh, good thing I got some meat, though. I'm just gonna make an infinite water stream down here. Here's good enough. You probably know how to do that. You just need a two by two area. Place one water bucket here, the other one diagonal. And then you can grab water from anywhere as much as you need. So, to set up the water for your dispenser, you need a uh, place two blocks down here, one there, two here, and place the water in there. You just need two, two water sources. And, oh yeah. Ah, that's annoying. With your dispenser, it's good to drop it down one more block. In case a boat breaks or something, then the wood has like a catcher area. And it doesn't interfere with any other boats that are coming up. And... I'll be quiet. Uh, I'm gonna make some smooth stone. So when you break this, that's the water elevator. Just like that. I've made about four different types of uh, boat dispensers so far. Uh, the one we're building here is my version 4. I call it the rapid dispenser. And that, oh, be quiet. And that's because it shoots boats out really fast at maximum speed. I hope he gets trapped. I really do. So we're gonna place a door. I'm trying to talk here. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Interrupting cow says what? Okay. We are going to place a door over here. And I'll explain why in a bit. When those guys shut up. Pressure plate here. And we're going to place two here to stop the water. This water. And. Yeah. I might as well place it. Okay, that's 
pretty much set up. What was that? Oh, it's daytime. Creeper. Come on, let's let's get this over with. Oh sweet we oh no we didn't get change. Nice. Spider. Gotta show these guys who's boss. Freaking cows, freaking pigs. Seriously, what's with all these guys around here? Oh. I am going to place, uh, what do you call it, the median, I think. Down the middle here. And this separates the two lanes so the water doesn't flow together. I think I forgot to mention that I'm not just uh, building a road here. I'm actually working on redesigning it too. So I don't know exactly what I'm doing at the moment. Um, the way I normally do this return system is going to have to be changed. So just for now, I'm going to put an easy loader here, which is a way of getting boats safely into the dispenser. So to do that, I need some pressure plates. And some glass. Um, and some water. So an easy loader is basically a water pattern. Oh yeah, I need a sign too. The sign keeps the water from flowing over the edge. Okay, so you place the water and it makes this six block pattern. And then you place the boat in the center one. And it aligns the boat properly. You need to place... Oh, I guess you don't need to. Uh, it should be working now. I'm try out. I'm gonna try placing a boat in it. Oh yeah, I should put something over the dispenser. To keep it from floating up, we're gonna place 
three glass blocks here. And then we place the boat in the center. It hits this wall, hits that wall, falls down. Water pushes it up our elevator. And that's... Um, yeah, that's good. So when I hop in the boat, it presses the pressure plate. And that's going to open this door once I wire it properly. But I do not have any redstone right now, so that will have to wait. I'm going to show you why it's a rapid dispenser. Place two boats. The reason the boats don't break is because they're always traveling straight in my system. You can you can run a boat as hard as you want into a wall. As long as it's going straight, it won't break. Uh, so this this dispenser area is only three by two, which is about as tight as you can fit two boats together. You see how one is this way and one is lengthwise? Uh, you cannot fit two boats lengthwise in this small area. This is very tight. And it like shoots... The boat pressing against the other boat boosts it out the system. So there's pretty much no acceleration time. So this episode's running a little bit long, so I'm going to end it here. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.